Hi, welcome. My name's Ian Hamilton. I'm the race director of the Clumber Park Duathlon based at Thorsby Park. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you very much for your entry. It's been such a tough season. We're really grateful of everyone's entries and the support they've shown in the build up to this event. Secondly, thank you to British Triathlon and the local authority in helping us create this COVID compliant event. And lastly, thank you to all of the crew and the volunteers that are going to help deliver this fabulous event on Saturday. As a COVID compliant event, we've had to make a number of changes to what you would normally see. Things like face masks will now be compulsory. When in transition, we recommend that you wear them all the time. Mass starts have disappeared and they've now changed to individual starts at every five seconds. You'll still get a to the start time, but this is not your actual start time. Please remember that you must social distance at all times, and that includes when starting. Also, don't forget, if you feel at all unwell, then we recommend that you don't race and you seek alternative medical advice. Two or three days before the event, we'll be sending you out a health declaration via email. Please ensure that you complete that and send it back to us. Okay, so pre-event, you should all receive your race packs. You should receive them by Thursday the 22nd. If you haven't, then send us an email to hello at trisociety.co.uk. Inside your race packs, you should have everything that you need for the event, such as one race number with a disposable chip on the back. You'll also get a security wristband. Make sure you wear that at all times when on site. Helmet stickers and bike stickers for security. Please remember, when coming to transition for the first time, you need to wear your helmet as well. On race day, the car parks will open at 7.30. Remember, athletes can bring a bubble with them, but they must be within your car when you arrive first thing. We will not be allowing spectators into the venue because it's closed. 7.30 also, inquiries will open. So anybody that's got problems with their pack or looking for a late entry, go to inquiries from 7.30 onwards. 7.45 transition will open. Okay. Please remember when queuing to come in transition at any time, you must stay socially distant. For the first time coming, wear your helmet, make sure you've got your security wristband on, your stickers on your bike, and we will need to see either your BTF license, some type of photographic ID, along with your day license if you purchase one before the event. Inside transition, it's socially distanced. There's more spacing between each rack and there'll be less people per row. That means you can actually keep your bag, a small bag or a small box next to you within transition. Information for the teams. So you must all turn up into transition for the first time together. You, like everybody else, will have to show either a BTF license, some photo ID, and if you haven't got a BTF license, then prove that you've actually paid for a day license to cover yourself for insurance. Tagging will be different to normal. You do not need to physically tag. Your cyclist can start when your first runner is within five meters of your cyclist in transition area. And it's the same when your cyclist finish, finishes. Your runner can start as, as soon as your cyclist is within five meters. The run route. The run route uses different types of paths, woodland paths and tarmac paths around the private Thorsby Hall. The start and the finish of each lap is on grass. So please ensure that you wear the right type of footwear. And we are recommending either a lightweight trail shoe or a slight off-road shoe. We do not recommend racing flats or anything similar. For the standard distance duathlon, the first and the second run is 6.5 kilometers. Please just follow the orange arrows at all time. For the sprint distance, you'll be starting with a 6.5K run, but your second run will be a shorter two and a half kilometer run. There'll be signs just after the start to turn you left and do the sprint distance. Please don't go and do the standard distance as your second run. 
like to talk to you about the feed station. There'll be one feed station and that is at the start of the second run. Normally you're used to people handing you out drinks and potentially gels. Unfortunately now, because of COVID compliance, the feed station becomes a self-service feed station. So you will pass the tables and you will help yourself to either water or the gels which we'll be giving away. Please remember, when you have taken either a, a cup of water or taken a gel, you need to dispose of the cups and the gel wrappers into one of the bins which will be around the site and on the course. The bike course is the same bike course as the Clumber Park Duathlon, but it's normally based at Clumber Park. The loop is 18 kilometres, so for the standard distance you'll be doing two, and for the sprint distance you'll be doing one. It's a very simple course and you'll have four left-hand turns. Each of those left-hand turns will be managed by our traffic management company and they will try to give you priority. However, it's up to you to ride within the rules of the sport and the rules of the road and take care at each of those junctions and only proceed if you believe it is safe to do so. There is one small neutralised zone at the start of each lap where you'll have to ride inside the cones and there'll be no overtaking. On the bike course, there will be three different types of vehicles. There'll be our energies, which are our motorbike referees. There will be a maintenance vehicle, which we will supply. So if you have any problems, we'll be there to hopefully help and support you. And thirdly, there will be our medical services that will be out on course. Please during the event, don't take any risks. Please ride safely and courteously at all times. So let's talk about the finish. It'll be nice and simple. Once you cross the finish line, you'll have to help yourself to a medal and there'll be a further drink station. Results will be live and you can either get those from our social media feed or from our website where there'll be a link. Once the results have been confirmed, we will be sending out prizes to those winners in the next couple of weeks after the event. So finally, thank you very much for your entry. We are so looking forward to delivering a fantastic and safe and enjoyable event on Saturday for everybody. So, we'll see you Saturday. Good luck. We wish you all well. Thank you.